Recently, Mars has been featured a lot in the mainstream media, and this is because big space companies hope to put humans on the red planets within the next few years. Someone who's been very vocal about this is Elon Musk, with him saying that his company SpaceX has plans to be one of the first ones to land humans on the red planet. He is currently working with experts and astrophysicists that are in the process of devising new ways to replenish the Martian atmosphere. Not only that, but they also plan to repair the planet's ecosystem to make it sustainable for human life, and they hope to have achieved this by 2030. If this fails, NASA have also said that they're looking at putting humans on the red planet, saying that they again hope to do this by 2030. But some of these dates have been pushed back with everything that's currently going on in the world, with NASA saying it's important that everything is understood about this mission before we just jump in. Government officials were noted as saying that American astronauts will walk on the moon again before the end of 2024 by any means necessary, and that they hope to set up bases on the moon and use it as a kind of halfway point, and then from there launching onto Mars. It all sounds very exciting, but some researchers have said that it will be at least 10 years before anything happens, and that's as long as scientists don't hit any snags along the way. Although no humans have made it onto Mars, some things have, and these come in the form of large rovers that have been sending back important information for scientists to study. However, every so often one of these rovers will send back an interesting image, and one of these came in the form of a strange looking object that could be seen in the sky. Those who noticed the object said it looked like a UFO. Now before we carry on, NASA and other officials have said that UFOs are not real, and that they can be explained using everyday things, like smudges on cameras, space debris and pareidolia. But that hasn't stopped amateur researchers from looking through old images in the hopes of finding something strange. Those who have seen this object have said it resembles a disc, one of the most commonly reported UFOs. In recent years people have been more open minded about the topic of unidentified flying objects, saying that even government officials are now joining in on the discussion. As of right now space agencies haven't released any information, and if anything have disagreed with government's opinions, saying that they've never seen anything that resembles a UFO. But amateur researchers have said that these comments are hard to believe when there's so much proof out there. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that a strange photograph has been taken on the Martian surface. NASA uploaded this photograph to their website and said the following. This image was taken by Front Hazard Avoidance Camera Front Hazcam, and this was on board NASA's Mars Rover Curiosity on Solar Day 2662 taken on the dates 2020-02-01. However, it's the anomaly in the left hand corner that's caught people's attention. You can see what appears to be a black sphere shaped object hovering in the sky, causing some to suggest that this anomaly is an unidentified flying object. As of right now we don't have much information to go by, but images like these start interesting conversations about life possibly being on other planets. This isn't the only claim of there being alleged life on Mars. Perhaps one of the more well known photographs allegedly showing something mysterious on the red planet is that of the Mars Rat. The photograph depicting an alleged rodent was named the Mars Rat, and the internet went wild with theories as to why the creature was there in the first place. It was picked up by UFO researchers a few years back and they suggested that the animal was placed on the Martian surface in order to see the effects the planet has on live animals. However, Joy Crisp, who was the Curiosity's Deputy Project Scientist of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the time, said the following. Clearly it results from things like wind erosion and mechanical abrasion, and breakdown chemical weathering on the rocks. This is why they get these weird shapes. End quote. Although the idea of going to Mars sounds exciting, there's many people who have spoken out about these missions, saying that it's going to cost us billions of dollars to do this, and when we're there we'll have to completely change Mars's environment so it's livable for humans. People criticise these actions saying there's still a lot of work to be done here on Earth, and those billions of dollars that are being spent on these missions could go towards helping a lot of people. 
whether you believe in some of the things that scientists have said. There's no denying that within the last 20 years alone we've depleted many things, whether that's general space on our planet or the consumption of animals. There's currently around 7.6 billion people in the world right now, and when you compare that to just 20 years ago, it's estimated there were 5.8 billion people. It's an interesting argument, and perhaps this is the way that officials are going to deal with this, by sending humans to Mars. The more we've studied Mars, the more we've learned about its various changes over the years. For example, many years ago, scientists said that Mars would have been uninhabitable, but researchers showed us that at one point in time, Mars would have had conditions suitable for life. This is evident in water flow that can be seen on the surface of Mars. NASA scientists have said there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. There's hundreds of billions of galaxies all teeming with millions or billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in our universe very high. This is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various systems in the hopes of finding life. It's likely it will happen. The question is when and how long it will take. For all we know, there could be life only a couple of million miles away, or it could be hundreds of billions of miles away. And when you're talking about space, billions of miles is a very small distance. So what do you make of these discoveries on Mars? And do you think we should be sending humans to the red planet? If not, what do you think would help some of the issues we're facing right now? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.